Hello everyone, and for today's Figma quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a responsible bar chart for your dashboards or whatever you want. So let's get right to it. I'll create a frame. So let me add some title and numbers here. Let's say we want to have two different values. So let me put here value one, value two. And let me start adding the scale. So starting at zero, right align, duplicate multiple times, wrap into an auto layout, set the distance to auto. I'm changing the values here, right align them, set this to hug. Now let's create the bars. Let's say I have three values. So value three, wrap this all into an L layout, make them all right aligned. Go back to the bars. Let me add another one here. Let me use the colors to differentiate each bar. I'll add them into an auto layout. I'll add the value, let's say month. That will be this value here. So let's say January. Shift A to do another auto layout. Now I'll create multiple variants of this. I'll select all my bar groups. Shift A to wrap them into an auto layout. I'll set the distance between them to auto. Let me add a dot, copy here, shift A, same color as the first bar. Repeat this for all the other values. Jesus. Now select the top items, I'll hit shift A once again. Now select my scale here with all the bars, hit shift A, having them into an auto layout. Select the entire frame and hit shift A to the entire frame. So now I can set the padding, make this fill container so it goes all the way and now I have select my bars here and do the same fill container. And since the distance is set to auto, it will distribute them evenly. The scale is starting from the bottom here and it's not what we want. We want to start the same at the bottom of the bars. So let's add some padding to the bottom of this frame here and make it go up. Let's see what we have so far. So it's following the width, but not following the height to fix this. The only thing we have to do is select this box here with the scale and the bars and set it to fill container. Hit enter to select everything inside it. And then once again, hit view container. For the bar here, I will align them to the bottom and then run and test it once again. It's working. The goal here is to set these bars as fixed so you can edit them as you want and make all the adjustments to feel more natural and real. But one thing that is still happening is that the bars can go over this. One thing that you can do to avoid this from happening is to select this frame here and then click Clip content, so now this kind of bug won't happen anymore. So there you have it, a fully responsible bar shirt. You can always tweak the distances and the paddings and margins. But the last tweak that I want to do here, if you want to go one step further, is to add the lines that will hint at the level each bar is at. Let's start creating the line. Remove the bars for a second. Let me put this scale here instead of hug to fill. Select one of the items. Hit Shift A to turn them into an auto layout. I'll select my line here, select the frame and hit command V. Set the frame to fill container, the line to fill container as well. And the number here, let me set to a fixed value. I could set to hug, but since the numbers has different sizes, it will be more interesting to keep them the same. So let's put some value like 20 here. I think that will be enough for all the numbers that I have. I just have to duplicate it with all the numbers that I want. So this is responsive. Now I have to bring back my bars. I can simply paste it here. It is respecting the auto layout for the entire frame. So I just have to select this icon here to ignore auto layout, which means set it to absolute position. And I can drag it, make sure it matches the distance and the lines. Let me clip it as I showed you before. And let me set the constraints to attach to all the sides. So top, bottom, left and right. As you can see now, I have it all responsive with the lines. And the cool thing is that although this is absolute position here, the bars are without layout, so I can swap them as I want. Same goes for the scale here. And I think that's it. So that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope it helps you building your future dashboards and layouts. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more content like this, and share it with your designer folks. If you have any more questions, leave all the comments down below, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.